We call Byron the father of ACU golf. In 1984, they had the fundraiser that really helped endow our very first scholarship. Once Byron hopped on board and started the first endowed scholarship, then we were able to recruit better and better players. His attachment to ACU golf from that point on was ACU golfers were his boys now. He always had an attraction for the university and the golf program. His brother Charles was on the faculty here. So it was a natural tie-in for Byron, even though he wasn't an ACU graduate, I think he felt an affinity for the university and especially the golf program. We have one of the top people in human race, plus one of the top athletic performers of his time. It is an incredible combination. I knew he was a big deal. I knew he was a good golfer. Um, but the more that I kind of learned about his character and who he was, to other people uh, through this whole process has been, I mean, just beyond golf and into kind of the scheme of life and the man that you're supposed to be. When I first came here, I just I did an inventory of what the program had and what it needed. First of all, it was a short game facility. I thought we needed that, and we did that with the gym. People got behind me, they saw the vision, they rallied, they made that a reality. Next on the list was to have a building, a home, uh, an indoor practice facility when the weather's bad or when you need to work on some things. The same people and got more people involved and this became a reality much sooner than what I expected. So combined together, there's no facility in the state of Texas, much less the, the country, that really serves a program like it does for us. It's right across the street from campus, literally on campus, and these guys love this place. It's everything beyond what I thought it was going to be, and I know we uh, we had high hopes for it, and it's met and exceeded all expectations for sure. But it's just a place that, yeah, it's a new home for ACU golf, but it's a Byron Nelson clubhouse, and to be able to live out the legacy of Byron's character through that, um, it's a pretty cool thing to do. I think overall, it's just become a place where we can we can be together. We're able to see each other every day. We're able to practice together, uh, read the Bible together, study together, uh, play ping pong together. And so even though five guys go to each of the tournaments, it makes a huge difference if each of those guys have good chemistry with one another. It's a game changer, and that's a word that gets thrown around a lot. But when you've had no locker room, no place to study, no place to have team chapel, no home for a team, and this fills every one of those, it's incredible for us to be able to come here to one building, which is a beautiful building with beautiful memorabilia, and be able to accomplish all those things all at one time.